Okay, we have a lathe bed, something like this. Got a V way, comes on over, and this part here goes on down into the rest of the machine. And what this is about is we, we want to make something to attach onto this for our taper attachment. We've talked a little bit about taper attachments, but we want to make a piece that fits onto it. So out here we're going to have a hole, and we're going to have a casting. We're going to come back around and clamp on here. The really, really nice ones, um, I say that, yeah, they're nice as far as holding. I guess they're not really nice as far as using, though, because when you come back over the V, then your carriage doesn't travel that far. So actually, while I've seen one like that, thinking about it, it probably annoyed me also. <laughs> so, uh, and I didn't draw this uh, with enough bulk to really make the point of what we're trying to do here. So let's, let's give this some bulk in here. Give it some bulk down there. And... Uh, the point here is what we'll have. That's a bad. This is bad. That's bad. Okay. We should have to show you on the real foot too, because I'm doing a bad job on drawing it. But okay, we're gonna come out here. We have part of the fixture there, part of it here, and ah yes. Yes, exactly. Okay, this is why, why I was drawing it wrong. Okay, here is our eye that goes to the rest of our, our piece. Now, what we have through here as a separate piece is a bolt. So we'll have our bolt head up here, and it comes down through these. I guess it's solid where we can see it there. Hidden lines here. I, I actually draw a lot neater lines when I do them on the computer these days. And I used to do good with regular drafting and I'm shh, using ink. Um, yeah, I got away from doing it fancy and I just uh, get sloppy. It's me these days. So, bolt comes through there. The thing is, if you just bolt it down, it's the same as bolting down on a mill or a lathe. This is just going to go crooked and just hit those corners. You're not going to grab straight enough. So you need another block in here. And this is really common, just the same as if you were clamping something on a mill, but you will, you will see this on a well-designed foot or piece for grabbing something in machinery. When you're grabbing something straight, you grab it and you have a block so that it comes up relatively parallel with this. You can, you can have a little bit of flexing in here and still get a good contact, but a lot of flexing and you won't. You'll end up just hitting those two corners and it'll fall off. And in fact, that was a problem with the foot on my lathe until after the last video talking about taper attachments, I actually fixed it. Because this part here was the wrong height. They had this was all one piece. And I think this was too high on that one so it was coming in and just touching on the end anyway i put it on the surface grinder and i ground this piece so the step was the right length right height to fit and the reason why i was thinking about all of that today was a not patented basic concept design um this is for a friend that's in a uh, senior living facility this is a carrier that goes on the um catches the seat on a walker and then this part here with the velcro lets her attach her cat carrier to it so as it turned out the angle iron had about the right length my original pieces that i had put on here I, anyway they were too short because i hadn't taken good measurements but uh, we'll go back and hopefully this will hold her cat more securely now we need to go out and look at the lathe itself here again the foot <clears throat> ah yeah this one has a very small step as you can see to make the foot fit correctly and it uh, actually is the other way the step in this one is bringing up more of the gap on that side 